What a turnout. This is fantastic. I'm blown away by how many people came all to see me. <laughs> the Creative Commission is gratefully located on the traditional territory of the Stolo people. And here's Chacton Band Councillor and Creative Commission member Sandra Bonner Peterson. <laughs> Ace Whale, Ethlot Wilmot Tilsqui, Tilitso Quachiactal. My traditional name is Ethlot. My given name is Sandra Bonner Peterson. I am from the Chiacton First Nation. I am also Stalo from the territory. And I would like to welcome everybody this evening. Like, wow, like people. <laughs> this is so cool. No masks, right? Like, we're just like, what the heck? We are just really going out there, aren't we? Anyways, I would like to welcome everybody to the Stalo territory. And what we do is we raise our hands in welcome. This is so awesome. <laughs> Creative Commission is back. <laughs> That's all I got. They only gave me like two minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sandra. Welcome to Creative Third Thursdays. It's our relaunch. Uh, you'll hear tonight about tonight. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I haven't been out in front of people for so long. You'll hear what the Chilliwack Creative Commission is, what's a Creative Third Thursdays, and how can I get involved. So Tim McAlpine is also going to take us on a tour of the expanded co-work Chilliwack. Uh, and there will be plenty of time to continue mingling if you have time to do so afterwards. So that's what we try to do with these Creative Third Thursdays is keep them mingle friendly. I think it might be a new term. Hashtag mingle friendly. So I'm Jeff Edwards. The Chilliwack Creative Commission is a committee of the Chilliwack Economic Partners Corporation. The commission is a one-stop resource for film, interactive, and digital media in Chilliwack. The commission was rebranded in 2015. It was formerly known as the Chilliwack Film Commission and has since expanded into interactive and digital media. So Creative Third Thursdays is an event that's been in the Chilliwack creative calendar since April 20th, 2017. So think about that. That's exactly five years ago, yesterday. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, it's an activity obviously put on by the Chilliwack Creative Commission. So wave if this is your first time at a Creative Third Thursday. Wow, fantastic. So now wave if this is your first time at a Creative Third Thursday in a long time. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, so welcome everybody. Uh, Chilliwack, uh, is, this is a, is a great event that we, we are so proud of really. And, and it's been such a, uh, it's, it's so laborious trying to do it digitally or virtually, and so it's wonderful to see everybody smiling faces, and like Sandra said, without a mask on. I feel so dangerous. <laughs> so Creative Third Thursdays has been a great opportunity to meet and mingle uh, with other creative people locally and people who uh, want to make connections with them. I, I know it's led to some collaborations in this creative community, and everyone, take a look right now at the person sitting next to you, because you're going to meet somebody new, maybe. Hello? See who's... <laughs> I love it! Look at this! People are mingling in their chairs! So we have held 54 Creative Third Thursdays, if you can believe it. And we've had over 975 free tickets through the Eventbrite app that have gone out there. So that makes it today... I think we should probably round of applause for this. 1,000 people! <laughs> so Creative Third Thursdays have served 333 liters of beer and wine. <laughs> Has anyone really missed Creative Third Thursdays like I have? Oh, I oh, yeah. oh yeah. In person. So an important part of Creative Third Thursdays is... The presentations, and each time it has included a presentation about creative people and their events or activities, except tonight, because we're doing something a little different. A relaunch. Relaunch! <laughs> so another event to watch out for by the Chilliwack Creative Commission is our Pecha Kucha. It's on in the fall. I encourage you to, to partake in that. It's, I, I love Pecha Kucha so much 
the event itself is fascinating. And then afterwards, you get to meet and mingle again with a bunch of people and it, a, a different crowd, sometimes a, a lot more than we would have at a Creative Third Thursday. So I encourage you to watch for that on our calendar coming up in the fall. So it debuted in 2016 and has presented 65 stories told in this image-laden, image-laden, laden, I'm actually a voice actor. So I'm really particular. I, I don't do what Trump would, what Trump, remember, he would say something, it would, it would, he would just blow the line, but he would just carry on with it. I just. <laughs> anyway, 65 stories told in this image laden style. We are also the sponsor, uh, a sponsor of the Chilliwack Independent Film Festival. And of course, each of these has been forced online over the last couple of years. And uh, we recognize the importance of the social aspect of each of these events in, on our calendar. So, <laughs> that was a big sigh. So uh, with that in mind, because we're trying to make it short, I promised you, if you have an interesting story, yourself, or you know someone that has an interesting story, reach out to any of us on the Chilliwack Creative Commission. And uh, we're looking for creative people and their stories about film, interactive, digital media, or creative endeavors and ways to do things to feature on our Creative Third Thursdays going forward. So next time at Creative Third Thursdays, it's Aaron Pete, and Aaron Pete is actually in the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So he's a podcaster with an interesting story. It's called the Bigger Than Me podcast, and it's available wherever you get your podcasts. So if you're posting to Instagram stories about your attending the relaunch of Creative Third Thursday, there's the hashtag. Some of you are not taking your cameras out. <laughs> Just a minute. Now, okay, now everybody get a selfie. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> All right. So, uh, let me get, catch up with my script here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, sh hey, don't turn around. No, don't look at the person in the... <laughs> Don't look at the man behind the curtain back there. So next up is the Chilliwack Coach Cowork Chilliwack Tour. May I introduce my longtime friend, Tim McAlpine. Thanks for coming, everybody. Well, unlike Jeff, I am not prepared with a script, so we're not sure what's going to come out of my mouth. Thank you. <laughs> my script will be laden with information. <laughs> Just to give you a bit of background about me and the building you're in, Currency Marketing uh, was founded in 1990, so yes, I was five years old at the time. Um, we've been here for 22 years, moved here in 2000, and really started to specialize our marketing and graphic design practice in credit union financial education, believe it or not. That is a thing. And so It's a Money Thing is our product. We currently have about 120 credit unions across North America, Canada and the US that use our product to teach young adults about important financial topics. That took us kind of away from Chilliwack and I had, this is unit 11, 12, 13 and 14, so I had 12 and 13 <clears throat> and it was pretty empty. It was Michael, myself and one other person, the rest of our staff was remote and so it was kind of like uh, morning Sam, morning Ralph and we'd go to our corners and I was doing a lot of travel and saw co-working kind of taking off, and I thought, I wonder if this could work in Chilliwack. I didn't give much thought to the name, but turns out Google SEO for Cowork Chilliwack is really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it, we started just over here where you see that podcast studio. It was a couple offices and a hot desk, open desk area. It filled up, reno after reno after reno. And then in 2018, Unit 11 next door was available and managed to buy that. And we expanded, put in more offices, and so forth. And then this space, which some have deemed my midlife crisis, and I'm quick to point out that it's better than a cocaine addiction or a Corvette <laughs> or an affair. Um, but it has been kind of a labor of love to figure this out. And so it was kind of like when, you, when you're trying to even up your um, sideburns and you end up with a mohawk. That's kind of what's happened here. <laughs> 
so we were doing some talks. I put in a stage. It used to be a photo studio. So this was completely white and with a corner cove, a psych you might recall if you ever saw that. Um, but we put in two PTZ cameras and started recording these talks. And one thing led to another. We had a four input mixer, a, um, a Mackie. Sadie would know what that is. A little thing. And I had a little tiny desk at the back corner. And then every time some of you would come, you would notice that this desk got a little bit bigger and bigger, and then I added another one, and we were encroaching more and more into the space. Knowing that we would get back to someday um, in-person events, part of my goal with this latest expansion was to be able to take all of that stuff and put it out of here. And over the pandemic, a nice byproduct has been we've been doing a lot of virtual event production conferences and different things. Uh, that And so we rebranded Cowork Chilliwack Studio, which was very specific, to Studio C. It seems like every name I ever come up with has a C in it, so that's a theme. Also, COVID <laughs> uh, presented an opportunity. <laughs> See, everything comes through full circle. Next door was a dance studio, you, you may recall. Any anytime we would have an event in here, so would the bass go up next door. And we would go over and ask the 19-year-old dance instructor, can you turn the, the volume down? And she would look at me. It's hip hop, mister. <laughs> and so we dealt with this. And so fortunately, unfortunately, the dance studio closed. Fortunately, the young couple that owned the two units actually owned the real estate. And so they stripped it down to what you see here. And I had the opportunity to purchase another unit and, and a, again, a big open canvas. And so we now have about 12,000 square feet, a total of 37 closed offices. They're small, medium, large. Our largest has like four desks. And we've got, I think, 72 desks and many, many members. Um, Studio C, rather than hear me try to describe what this is and blather on, I'll play a video of me describing what this is blathering on. <laughs> Welcome to Studio C. We specialize in multi-camera live production. We're a video content creation and live streaming studio in Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada. We produce engaging live events with high production value to help you best tell your story. Our small studio is perfect for your show host. Multiple monitors provide a complete view of what's going on, including the script, presentation slides, guests, and the live program mix. We have lots of background choices to set the mood and match your brand. The main studio can accommodate up to three speakers behind lecterns or sitting in chairs. Each speaker gets a dedicated camera for tight shots and their own teleprompter. We can also bring remote guests into the studio production through Zoom. Professional grade live production gear including broadcast cameras, high fidelity audio and television studio lighting is all controlled from the central tech desk. Studio and remote productions can then be packaged and streamed online to the destination of your choice including YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, Hopin or Zoom webinar. Studio C. Take your events to the next level. So that gives you an overview of what we do here at Studio C. Uh, you noticed in the video we had the central tech desk. Well, one of the goals in the studio expansion was to move that and all its noise and space taking into its own area. So we now have a control room. That's Michael cutting the show right now. And another goal was to have a, a nice big green room uh, for talent and... Um, and our clients while we're producing the show. And there I am in the green room. Something else I learned to do during the pandemic was uh, cut and terminate my own SDI cable. So there's now more than two kilometers of cable in this in the studio complex. Uh, and it all now resides in its own central server area. So all that noise and, and heat is now relegated to a nice workshop area. So with that, let's go for a tour. There's approximately 40 of us here, so we'll divide into four groups of 10. Michael will take one, I'll take one, TikTok, and we'll be back for the other 20. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you so much for attending Creative Third Thursday. And by all means, help yourself to another beer, and, and we'll be back after the tour.